Yo, what up, street togs? Street vlogs, street vlogs. Or Kim in the house. All right, uh, some uh, some turbo thoughts for us. So, back on the Lumix G9 with the Rika, what, 12 millimeter, 1.4 lens, road video mic, <clears throat> it's a red. All right, so some thoughts. Um, how to look more masculine, right? So. So first and foremost, <clears throat> get some uh, men's Lululemon clothing. Seems like a good idea to flex the high purple clay. Okay. So first and foremost, um, uh, <laughs> so funny. I think the person that everyone wants to become nowadays is our best friend Elon Musk. However, the downside is does not shoot with the Ricoh GR3X. <laughs> so, um, big problems is, you know, you look at Elon Musk, I saw like, a, if you go on the SpaceX website, look at the Starship news, I was just like randomly thinking, I'm like, if you look at the Starship, right? <laughs> it looks like a big phallic thing. It's like symbol of uh, Elon Musk's member shooting off into space and colonizing all the other mars whatever but anyways looking at elon he's like sitting down and you kind of like his gut is kind of spilling over you look at his arms like they don't look swole i think elon might work out a little bit but you kind of look at him look at his face like doesn't really look masculine is not really uh somebody i would aspire to look like um and uh other dudes who used to be the height of masculinity include uh, Brad Pitt, think about Fight Club, even him and Troy. <laughs> it's like the best the best scene in uh, <clears throat> Troy with Brad Pitt in the beginning is like, you know, Brad Pitt aka Achilles in the hut with his uh, two beautiful uh, two beautiful hotties and then you know, it's like kid runs over, he's still sleeping, right? He's supposed to do the big fight and then the little kid's like, the man is so big, I'll be so afraid to fight him. And then Brad Pitt, aka Achilles, look at him and says, And that is why nobody shall remember your name. <laughs> That's so gangster, right? So, anyways, um, I think, uh, <clears throat> so there was him, but then now looking at Brad Pitt, he just looks so old and worn and torn, and you know, it's kind of sad, you know, it's kind of estranged from his kids and stuff like that, and no more Angelina Jolie, whatever. And, like, beyond that, it's like, I, mean, I love Kanye, but Kanye's only what five seven, and he's always got the chipmunk cheeks. Got the chipmunk cheeks. The best hair is the slick back. I've uh, corroborated this with many. The Brad Pitt uh, Fury haircut. That's the one. Shout out to my friend uh, Bill Block. All his movies are really good. All right, so. Um, um, some thoughts. The main one is, essentially what you want to do is you want to build this like lean and mean aesthetic. So, no, 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 no. You don't want to get like gain weight or weigh X amount of pounds. So whenever dudes at the gym are always weighing themselves and say, I wish I weighed X amount of pounds, whatever. I'm like, that's silly because you cannot differentiate the difference between body fat, adipose tissue and uh, body skeletal muscle, aka muscle. So they say, yo, I wanna weigh 200 pounds of eating uh, McDonald's hamburgers, right? And finally hits 200, but your body might be super fat, right? Um, you might be gaining weight as a result of fat. And so that's why even notions of Weight Watchers or I gotta lose weight or I gotta gain weight, it's kind of silly. I think what people are trying to say is I want to lose fat and I want to increase muscle, right? That's the goal. Um, even in Korean, they say like, they call it sal, right? Like flesh. Sal um, And then, uh, it's funny, even Vietnamese, it's like, they call it teet, which is just like meat flesh. I'll lose the meat flesh. And so, um, simple, simple prescription, super easy. You know, you want know to subscribe to know Jenny Craig or Weight Watchers, right? Or like buy those stupid meal plans, right? Don't eat breakfast, no lunch. The ultimate free thing, right? And you, you'll save like, what, three hours a day? You'll save a bunch of money, right? 
and uh, just break your fast in the evening when it's time to eat dinner and then just go to sleep, right? And uh, the best bang for the buck food item seems to either be um, beef liver, just go to the local um, halal market or the Middle Eastern market, whatever. Uh, there's one close by. I think like beef liver is only like 250 a pound. Like just go for it, just go super ham, cook the beef liver in um, ghee or olive oil or whatever, and see if you could eat uh, three pounds of it. <laughs> just eat it with kimchi and some, uh, some uh, mustard, Tabasco, Tabasco don't have sugar in it, which is good. And just uh, see how much of it you could eat. <clears throat> and uh, for sure we'll get your test up. Cholesterol is a natural steroid. The more cholesterol you eat, the higher you're gonna get your testosterone up. It's a, it's a good idea. Um, also, uh, yeah, so when you don't eat breakfast, no lunch, intermittent fasting, right? Um, yeah, you're gonna lose fat. Super easy, right? It's like, and people are like, yeah, but I like carbs. I'm like, that's like saying like, yeah, you know, I want to lose fat, but I love Twinkies. Can I just still eat the Twinkies? I'm like, I mean, no. <laughs> um, it's like, I want to be a billionaire, but I just love like smoking weed and eating Taco Bell and playing video games. Can I still be a billionaire? I'm like, no, right? Uh, or I want to get super duper swole, but you know, I don't like lifting weights. I'm like, <laughs> right? Uh, kind of nonsensical, right? Um, so yeah, and just go to the gym every day. Just live heavy ass weights. It's a, uh, I'm into this one rep max type of living, uh, lifting, one repetition maximum. So don't go for reps. You never have to do more than one rep. Uh, that's the that's the key is um. You want to lift the maximum weight possible just once. So for example, with deadlift, squat, rack pulls, squat hold, atlas hold, the EK atlas hold, right? Just toss on the maximum amount of weight as possible, buy some chalk, buy it in the tube or the powdery stuff, do a mixed grip whenever possible, and just see the maximum amount of weight you could just lift off the ground once. Even if you can move it like half a centimeter, half a centimeter. That's that's all you need. It goes, oh, what if I hurt my back? I'm like, dude, I did this with my six, seven year old mom. Dude, she's, she's becoming a beast only in two weeks. And she works out at least once a day, often twice a day. She's been doing uh, yoga every single day with Cindy at Core Power and also just going to the gym with me and lifting weights there. Also, I've been working out twice a day too is uh, doing Core Power with Cindy, the Sculpt class, um, which is their weightlifting class. And then doing the uh, hype lifting, hype, hype, hype. hype. Um, or Zen lifting, whatever I call it. Um, so I was able to, a few days ago, do what? Seven plates and a 10 on each. I done max out the bar, 695 pounds. Just get under the bar a little bit, push up, hold it on your shoulders and just put it back. No, 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 I didn't hurt myself. I'm like, if anything, my, my spine and my mind feels adamantine, so sublime. I don't even have to rhyme, it's all in my mind. Zine, hein. Um, also, uh, did a rack pull the other day, two days ago. What, six plates, a 35 and a five. Got it up like a centimeter off the rack and that's all you need, right? And you know, you just like zoom into my veins. Veins are insane. It all goes to my brain, all right? Um, don't gotta do it for the Zane. Okay, so, um, I really think that's the best way, like, and then also some other thoughts. Don't do no exercises at the gym in which you're sitting down or sitting on your butt. So like all those machines or even doing uh, shoulder presses or whatever when people are sitting, the second you sit down, you just kind of done shut down your metabolism for your lower half of your body. Do all your exercises while standing up. Even whenever, um, you know, let's say you're gonna do yoga or weightlifting class or whatever, right? The teacher is just a suggestion and a guide. They're not the ultimate authority. So whenever I do a class with Cindy, I almost never follow the instructor. I just kind of do my own thing. Also, if you have, hold heavy weights, go for the micro reps. You don't need to do the full range of motion. Whenever people think that they need to do the full range of motion, I think it's one of these funny things where you think doing a full range of motion is proper. And, and also it's like, oh, if you don't do the full range of motion, it's like cheating. But that's also silly too, because there ain't no such thing as che uh, cheating. It's just like, 
a physiological response to a given stimulus. So I'll just say, go for it's micro, super micro nano reps. You don't even have to rep it, you just gotta like hold it, right? But anyways, um, the I think doing yoga and stuff like that is good for, um, you know, superficial things I discovered doing more pigeon, getting flexible, doing the wheel back things, right? I've just been getting way stronger. So my theory is when you do yoga, yoga type uh, stretches, and you only have to go to class, just, just watch some YouTube videos, just do like a one minute routine, that's all you have to do, even 30 seconds, right? The stronger I get, or the better I get yoga, right? Just my whole body's been getting better, like uh, my theory is, it strengthens your bones, your sinews, I don't know what other kind of micro muscles, whatever. So, so essentially, I kind of like this idea of a hybrid between like, you know, somebody who does yoga and also being an insanely epic uh, weightlifter. Um, <laughs> so it's funny, like, <laughs> some, some funny things, it's like, I was at the gym like a while back and then, you know, I was like, lifting weights and there's this girl next to me doing some powerlifting I'm like oh you know do you compete she's like no do you, do you do compete I'm like I have like over six plates on the, the rack and I'm like no I do yoga she's like you're you're BSing me I was just like no watch me and then I just like done jumped into um, a full planche and then she was like that's just aesthetic <laughs> and then I, I could do a muscle up really good too now I can muscle up and then do kind of like a kind of like a, a planche on top of the muscle up um I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm, I'm doing uh, the yoga sculpt class. I have my shirt off and I'm like, you know, looking out at these uh, other dudes in the class. And the funny thing is dudes who tend to do yoga tend to be like, okay, certain things. One, if they have a tattoo that like, looks like anything kind of like Eastern or from uh, India or something, uh, very sus. Also, dudes with man buns, don't trust them. Also, I found the dudes at the gym too, right? Any dude who wears, like, a hat, I mean, really bad sunglasses, uh, even AirPods, or dudes who wear belts or straps or knee wraps or something like that, it's, it's a good idea to write them all off because, I don't know, just, uh, I think to become more masculine, it's kind of a via negativa thing, right? Don't put in the earbuds, earbuds pros, Airbuds Pros Max, Maxes, Max, Maxes, Maximillions. Uh, don't use straps, don't use a belt. I think whenever one uses a weightlifting belt, it's a signal of weakness and insecurity. Don't use the knee wraps. I'm like, there's no reason for it. Okay, like, I get it if people want to use um, the wrist wraps, if they want to do um, deadlifts or sumo deadlifts with a neutral form. Like, that's, I think that's totally cool, right? Like, Half Thor did it with his um, 501 kilogram uh, deadlift, whatever. But certain things which are super, super unnecessary is the knee wraps for the squats. Because first of all, it's like, you'd, people, like, what you're trying to do is like, you're afraid you're hurting your knees? I'm like, no, you just gotta strengthen the sinews in your knees, right? Uh, then the other uh, pragmatic thing is, certainly if you have like a super, super tight compression thing around your knees, which is like super tight, it's gonna help you squat down and then get up a little bit. I mean, like, eh, I guess that's fine. But then, especially when people are squatting with the belt, I'm like, what, you need to stabilize your core? I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it makes, it makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, there's, there's, really, there's really no reason. I'm just like, you know, don't use the belt, don't use strap, just use chalk, mix grip, and uh, just see how far you go. I'm also starting to think, too, exercises or lifting weights while you're on your back kind of seems nonsensical. So, like, just think about it this way. Can you imagine in ancient Greece or Hercules or anybody, right, lying on their back and then some some dude brings over a boulder and says, like, hey bro, see if you could push this up. It's <laughs> like, no, like, the only thing that I could imagine you could do in the ancient world is there's a big ass rock, like a thousand pound rock, just seeing if you could like lift it up and then throw it at your enemy and kill them. <laughs> so the, the best thing about reading the Iliad, if there was one book that I could just keep forever until I died, it'd probably be the Iliad because the... Um, the language and the uh, poetry is so beautiful behind it, but it's also like, it just gets your gets your blood pumping. So apparently even the Iliad, dudes would pick up heavy ass rocks and just throw at each other to kill one another. I'm like, yo, that's gangsta. So that's my rock toss challenge, my rock, rock toss workout. Just Google 
or YouTube, Eric Kim Rock Toss, and you can see what I did in uh, early pandemic when I was in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. Just go to the local gym, find a big ass rock. Unfortunately, there's not that many places or gyms that do that. I mean, there's kind of more of the shift towards the kind of this functional fitness, which is kind of good, strongman type things, but I still haven't found like a good rock toss alternative. Um, but alas, so um, things that make sense, like you pick up a heavier ass rock, and then maybe putting it over your head, maybe that does work good. But that even seems to be unnecessary because like, you know, some people who do the clean and jerk, right? They clean it up to here and then they want to push all the way up, which is fine. But like, why do you need to do that? What makes more sense than one thing, picking up a rock and throwing at your enemy and killing it. You're not gonna pick up a rock, put it all the way above your head and then toss it at your enemy, right? So, Imagine yourself like an ancient Greek uh, hero or demigod. Imagine like yourself like Achilles. What would Achilles do? What would Achilles do? I was actually thinking about uh, before before Sen was born, uh, naming him Achilles, but Cindy wasn't having it. And also, uh, I also thought that Achilles wouldn't be a good name for a kid because he imagines his whole life is like, oh, but what's your Achilles heel? It's like, it's gonna be so annoying, right? Whereas Seneca, people was like, they don't know who that really is, right? It's like, oh, that's nice. And it was, it was also like when, um, when, um, uh, you know, Cindy was pregnant with Sen, right? It's, it's like, we actually didn't know if he was going to be a boy or girl. We decided to not uh, reveal the, the sex gender. And uh, so it would be good both ways. Seneca Falls for the, the women's conference. And also just, yeah, it's good, good name. It's unique. Uh, sounds good on the tongue. So actually one of the big upsides of having a kid is the joy of naming your kid. I'm like, it's like, it's the best. It's like you take your life, morals and ethics and your beliefs and you could name it. Yeah, if I could rename myself, I'd just name myself Achilles. Achilles Kim. I'd be gangster and people's like, what's your Achilles heel? And then, be like Jay-Z. Love, I don't get enough of it. <laughs> throwing throwing feelings in the air, okay? Um, yeah, so... And also the reason in terms of like masculine, you don't trust none of these bodybuilders, fitness dudes, whatever, dudes at the gym, because they all in the juice. They all dip into the gummy bears, not Chris Hensworth. This guy's juicing his eyeballs out, just like The Rock. The only one who like apparently might not be on the juice is maybe Henry Cavill, but you know, the Superman dude, but then again, you never know, right? Uh, you never know until they done slip, like uh, Mr. Uh, <laughs> like according to my friends, Mr. Liver King, right? It's like, yo, just eat liver like me and have my workout program and then you could get super swole like me. And then it gets, it gets leaked that this dude is like what, like ordering $12,000 worth of like steroids and testosterone a month or something like that. So everyone is uh, everyone is 100% natty till they get caught. Like even I was watching the Natty for Life uh, documentary made by Vlad. Uh, What's that guy, Michael Hearn? He's like natural bodybuilder. I'm like... Look at his face, it looks like he's Botox his brains out. It looks like a Ken male Barbie doll. And my, my, my thought is, if you get work done to your face in terms of the Botox, whatever, you've probably dipped into the gummy bears too, right? Uh, and I was you know, talking to some kids uh, the other day, high school kids, football players, and I'm like, and then apparently also a lot of high school boys are already doing steroids and weird shit. I'm just like, no bueno. So, don't take no artificial testosterone. If you want to get your test up, the best thing is to eat more beef ribs, eat more beef liver, beef heart, beef small intestines. Next time you go to all you can eat Korean barbecue with your homeboys, just go super duper ham. Not on the flesh meats, but the organ meats. The organ meats will turn you into a demigod. Uh, so beef liver, beef heart, beef small intestines. Organ meats are good. Become like a carnivore, become a wolf. Um, and you can also like prioritize your sleep, just like a pro tip, like usually I lift weights around like noonish when Sen's taking a nap. And I'll have a espresso or two before going to the gym, but after that just like cut caffeine, cold turkey, like I've actually found superficially, even like at two or three, I'm just like a little bit tired and I want to pick me up, even drink some green tea. I think that actually interferes my sleep, so also to, to become more masculine and sleep better and become more, more, more epic, um, is to optimize your sleep so afternoon just maybe just like don't even try to be productive take a nap if you're sleepy and uh see how masculine you could become